In the last module, we tapped into the world of generative AI by exploring various text generative tools. But the tale of possibilities with generative AI has only just begun. In this module, we will go a step further and explore a new dimension of creation, image generation. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. From banners for advertisements, diagrams in books, graphs in presentations, to pictures on social media. Nothing catches the eyes more than a good visual. Not many of us are skilled to create magic with a camera or a paintbrush in our hands. Generative AI surely can't have our hands working on a canvas. But it can help you create any visuals that you could imagine with just a few clicks on the keyboard. With Generative AI, we can create images like this, or this, and even this. Image generation is a type of generative AI that involves creation of new images, new designs, patterns, or even art based on a set instructions provided by the user. Images can be generated by using different kind of prompts. The prompts could be text, image, or even audio. Let's explore each one of these approaches one by one. Going by its name, text-to-image generation technique involves generating images based on text prompts. AI models interpret the text and produce corresponding images, converting the prompt into a visual representation. It is useful for generating images that match specific concepts or ideas that you have in mind, such as creating images for presentations, reports, brochures, advertisements, etc. In contrast to text-to-image generation, image-to-image -image generation largely focuses on using an existing image, along with a text prompt as a reference to generate a new image. Let me give you a glimpse of a few things that can be done with image-to-image -image generation. You can change the background or the color of the image. You can generate the variations of the same image. You can view the image from different angles. You can extend the background of the image. And you can even add objects to the image. There's a lot more that you can do with image-to-image -image generation. Audio-to-image generation focuses on creating new images from audio input. Audio-to-image makes visualizing sounds possible. Imagine if you could generate images based on the sounds heard in a forest or picturize the passion of the crowd from the noise in a stadium. Audio-to-image generation interprets sound signals and generates corresponding visual representations, such as objects, scenes, or even faces. Unlike the first two cases, at the moment, there are not many tools that are capable of doing this. But gauging by the pace in the development of generative AI, I am sure that we will have popular tools available for this type of image generation soon. With image generative AI tools, only sky is the limit. But how are we generating new images using generative AI? Much like text generation, image generation using generative AI leverages the power of deep learning algorithms to learn from existing images, enabling us to generate unique and captivating visuals. The quality and style of the generated image depends on a few factors, like the quality and quantity of the training data which is used to teach the AI model. It also depends on the techniques used in the training process and the complexity of the generative AI models. A few popular foundation models which are used to create images are variational autoencoders or VAEs, generative adversarial networks or GANs, and diffusion models. At present, most of the image generative tools are based on a combination of one or more of these foundation models. However, today, most of the cutting-edge generative AI tools are heavily relying on diffusion models. Diffusion models can be quite complex to understand. But let's look at how these models work from a bird's eye view. Diffusion models are machine learning models that excel at generating realistic images by introducing random variations or noise through a process called forward diffusion. Then, through the reverse diffusion process, these models remove the noise from the images, providing us with the desired results. During training, these models add noise to the input images and then learn to recreate the original image by denoising them, effectively restoring the original information. This training process enables diffusion models 
to develop the capability to generate meaningful images from random noise. Although this process will create meaningful images, we will have no control over the images as they would be generated at random. That is why the advanced image generative tools that we work with today use conditioning on top of the diffusion-based models to generate images specific to the prompts which can either be text, image, audio or a combination of these. To comprehend this conditioning better, imagine you have a magic cooking pot that can create delicious dishes based on the ingredients you provide. This cooking pot represents the diffusion-based image generative model and the list of ingredients that you put into the pot represent the input text or images. The diffusion model uses the input data for conditioning to generate the required images. To achieve this conditioning, these tools use separate deep learning models. It is the complexity and the quality of these conditioning models that determines the quality of the generated images from the image generative tools. Thus, through conditioning, the image generative tool gives us control over the output of the diffusion models.